India is in global spotlight again as Indian scientists and engineers from IFCO finally developed and launched the world's first nano urea recently. The indigenously developed nano urea which is in liquid form has been produced using nanotechnology. The product will provide a big relief to Indian farmers as they will now have a better income and will sell a healthier crop. Nano urea will replace conventional urea and reduce its use in India by 50%. Moreover, IFCO says that a 500 ml bottle of nano urea contains 40000 ppm of nitrogen. So, nutrient provided by this one bottle is equivalent to one full bag of conventional urea. To learn more about this staggering product, we got in touch with Dr. Ramesh Ralia who is appointed in IFCO's general manager research and development. Let's hear from him more about advantages of nano urea. How will it benefit farmers and increase their income? Its impact on irrigation, health, imports and government subsidy and a lot more. How is nano urea better in terms of price? Price of one bottle about 500 ml of nano urea is about 240 rupees including of all taxes and there is no subsidy on this product as of day, as of today. Uh, one bottle of nano urea gives equal or better results when compared to the conventional urea. Nitrogen use efficiency of conventional urea is just 30 to 40 percent. So in comparison to na- in comparison uh, from the economic perspective, nano urea is much cheaper than the conventional urea. Further, it perform better and it require in less amount by volume, so it will have benefit with respect to the economy, but also from the environmental benefit perspectives. How is nano urea better in terms of crop production? Ifco nano urea has been tested by various ICN institutes and state agricultural universities. As per their results, from economic perspective, it is beneficial for the farmers. and this significantly increases the farmers income when compared to the conventional uh, urea does nano urea cause any harm to crops if co nano urea has been tested as per the guideline to evaluate nano agri input release by department of biotechnology government of india as well as organization of economic cooperation and development oecd guidelines to test the nano materials and their safety and toxicity Uh, the test all the tests were conducted by glp uh, approved laboratories which are dst department of science and technology government of india recognized and icr and state agriculture icr state agricultural uh, universities there is no toxicity and uh, ifco nano urea is completely safe for flora and fauna at the recommended doses how does nano urea impact irrigation and does it require more water typically plant uptake nutrients along with water through their roots it means that soil moisture must be adequate to uptake the nutrients from soil for the conventional fertilizer however in this case of nano urea nutrient is being uptake by the plant leaves after the foliar spray uh, hence independent to the water availability in the soil zone so even in the less water in the rhizosphere or in the soil this nutrients can be deliver uh, can deliver effective nutrition uh, to the plants what is nano urea's impact on health and when will it reach farmers If co nano urea is completely safe for flora and fauna this has been tested as per the guideline to evaluate nano agri input released by department of biotechnology government of india and also as per the oecd guidelines as i told earlier to evaluate nano particles uh, safety and toxicity nano urea will be available to farmers uh, from the first week of june onwards at some places in india uh, and across the uh, country it will be available uh, Uh, soon uh, farmers can get this through ifco e bazar online portal that is uh, www.ifcobazar.in and also by offline through the cooperative societies and ret- retailers so this was dr ramesh ralia from ifco who shared with us a lot of information about nano urea with this we must also recall as to what exactly is nanotechnology using which the product has been produced If we recall nanotechnology it is the study and practice of manipulating matter at incredibly small sizes 
we can understand it in this way that while a piece of paper is about 1 lakh nanometers thick, nanotechnology deals with study at even smaller sizes generally ranging from 1 to 100 nanometers. According to IFCO, use of this nano urea will also have a huge impact on the quality of underground water, significant reduction in global warming with an impact on climate change and sustainable development. What's more, it will be far lighter in weight and its small size will significantly break down the cost of logistics and warehousing also. Similarly, in order to support especially the small and marginal farmers, Government of India also provides very heavy subsidies on urea. Here, cash is not given directly to the beneficiary, fertilizer subsidy is universal in nature and subsidy amount is paid to the manufacturer. Urea subsidy has increased from around Rs 24,000 crore to around Rs 54,000 crore in the last 10 years. Take for example the production cost of gas-based urea. It cost about Rs 900 per bag but the farmer get it at just about Rs 242 at a discount of over 70%. India uses roughly 350 lakh metric tons of urea per year. But as discussed above, use of liquid nano urea will reduce this consumption by 50%. This will result in government saving a lot of money which it provides as subsidy to the farmers. India today stands as world's largest urea importer. The shortfall between domestic production and demand of urea is met through imports. And India has been heavily importing urea with a 20 to 25 percent increase in the import quantity every year. Minister of Chemicals and Fertilizers D.V. Sadan and Gowda, in a written reply to Lok Sabha, had informed that total quantity of imported urea stood at roughly 60 lakh metric tons in fiscal year 2017 to 18. 75 lakh metric ton in fiscal year 2018 to 19, while it was 91 lakh metric tons in fiscal year 2019 to 20. But now, as the indigenous liquid nano urea gets launched in the country, it will reduce India's heavy dependence on the import of urea. That's all for today. If you like the video, do like, subscribe, and share with family and friends.